greetings and uh, welcome to my channel, my uh, toy life. Every now and then, uh, I want to share a video with you uh, showing some of my collection or some of the things that I've found. And uh, a few months back, I was able to come across this um, action figure in a loose setting. I was able to pick it up with a few more. This is the great uh, Sioux Chief Crazy Horse. And uh, I've got him on a horse that I bought at... Uh, I think it was at Goodwill. He's uh, <clears throat> he's riding this horse. It has uh, a blanket that Lori made for me. Uh, if you want to know how to get in touch with Lori, you can send me a message. Or you can uh, ask a question in the comments below and I can possibly get you in touch with her. She makes uh, a lot of different things. This is this is one of the things she makes, the Indian blanket. I happen to like that. Anyway, on to the figure. <clears throat> There's a couple of things I like about the figure. One, it's 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 very very realistic. This is made by Sideshow. Uh, I don't know if he had all these scars on his face, uh, but they're there on this action figure. You can see the scars real clearly. <clears throat> He's also wearing the little rock around his ear. You can see it right there. Uh, I'm missing the feather. There evidently was a feather that came with it that went in the uh, hairpiece, and I'm missing that, or maybe it stuck into this hole right here. But I'm missing that feather. If, uh, if you have one, an extra one, or found one somewhere, you can message me and I'll work something out with you to get it. He, uh, he's painted with his war paint. These white dots and circles all over his body. Uh, they've got uh, his breastplate, which is very nice. I like it. His hands are very uh, realistic as well. I don't know if you can see that. Try to get it to focus. There you go. You can see his hands. They move real well. You can pose him in any way you want. The sideshow figures can, you know, they, they have good uh, posability. I've given him this war club. I'm not sure that the Sioux had war clubs, but I have this in my collection, so I have been letting him use it and carry it. He's wearing uh, some pants, which uh, they don't quite fit very well, or something is just not right with them. They're, they're falling off of him. I can't seem to get them on him right. Uh, I've tried several different uh, ways to put it on him. Uh, and I'm sure I'm going to figure out how to do it at some point. His loincloth here is is actually sewn to the bottom of the pants, which uh, doesn't help with being able to position that loincloth a little bit better. I really like his moccasins. I think that they're real special in the... Uh, area of detail and I just I think they've done a really good job to make that moccasin look like a Native American moccasin his foot poses real well he uh, he can carry uh, the Winchester which is the weapon of choice. That's what uh, they used. That's what he... Uh, although I don't believe that he ever killed anybody. I, I, I'm not 
done a lot of research, but I believe he was a peace man. And peace men usually simply tried to inspire the other troops into battle by their bravery, meaning he would go out there and he would actually try to touch uh, his enemy uh, with his stick. He'd try to touch him, but he would not uh, shoot him. And so um, I'm not sure that Crazy Horse ever really killed anyone in battle. I know that he he did touch a lot of his enemies to show him how show them how brave he was. He uh, ended up being killed by uh, his own people. Uh, I believe he was sh- either stabbed or shot in the back by a Native American policeman. Probably was a, simply a misunderstanding. Maybe. Uh, The policeman was telling him to go somewhere. I don't know exactly. uh, And maybe Crazy Horse didn't want to go. I'm sure you can research it. Maybe you would want to be uh, inspired to research it. Go look it up. Uh, It's important to know the history of uh, our country and especially of a great leader like Crazy Horse. Again, he's one of my favorites. Uh, I've really enjoyed playing with him. Posing him, using him for some of my battle scenes and stuff. Um, he fits real nicely on the horse. Uh, he fits real good on the horse. Maybe I can move it back here just a little bit, move the camera back just a little bit and get you a little bit better uh, picture of him. But uh, there he is uh, in all of his glory, uh, ready for battle. Made by Sideshow. Uh, I don't have all the pieces because I picked him up loose. But I happen to like him. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them uh, below. Or send me a message. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. If you have more information that you'd like to share, please do that too. And share the video. Like and share the video. Until next time, happy collecting. Bye.